Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to be continuing on with our C-Sharp programming tutorial series, and in this particular tutorial we are going to be covering structures in C-Sharp. Now, what exactly are structures? Well, they are similar to classes, except classes are, uh, are meant to... Uh, are meant for something entirely different than structures, technically on a technical level. Um, the thing about structures is that they are meant to be used for small bits and pieces of data, such as, uh, such as for example, uh, quadrilateral data, um, points, stuff like that, stuff that's lightweight. And that's because of how memory is managed. So before we go any further, I need to talk to you about how memory is managed in C Sharp and the difference between the stack and the heap. So in memory, we have two types of memory. We have stack memory and then we have heap memory. Stack memory is a, is a type of memory that is much quicker to access, whereas the heap memory is very, uh, it's a little bit slower and uh, a little bit slower to access, right? So when we talk about stack memory, you can think of stack memory like a stack of plates in your cabinet. Everything is easy to access, you just take one off the stack, right? And then when you're done with it, you clean it, put it right back up on the stack, right? So that's kind of how stack memory works. Now, of course, when it comes to the stack, there is a limited amount of memory allocated to that. So if you uh, go above, above that limit, things are going to start to get really slow. So you got to be, so you got to be careful about uh, about performance in your applications in that regard. Okay. Whereas heap, you can think of the uh, you can think of heap memory as your kitchen counter while you're cooking. When you're cooking, you generally have all kinds of stuff all over the place on your counter, all your ingredients, your different tools, stuff like that. It makes it a little bit harder to find what you're looking for, get it, use it, and then put it back on the counter, right? So that that's how heap memory works. It's a little bit harder to find what you're looking for, so it takes longer. And that is where classes are stored. Well, okay, I guess classes, the instances of classes themselves aren't technically stored on the heap. Classes, when you create an instance, the address to that instance in memory is stored in the heap. Whereas with structures, which are stored on the stack, they are stored directly in memory. They're stored directly on the stack. So you can easily access them. All right. So enough talking about memory in the technical sense. Let's actually create a structure. And as we go along, I will explain to you some of the differences between a structure and a class. All right. We've talked about a few of them in, you know, in the technical sense with me when we talk about memory, but there are a few other differences to take note of. So in Visual Studio Code, what we're going to do is we're going to create a struct called quadrilateral. Now this structure will have two different properties inside of it. It will have a width and it will have a height. It will have two methods, one for calculating the perimeter and one for calculating the area. This is the perfect use case for a struct. All right, so to create a structure, 
we need to use the struct keyword. So S T R U C T. And we're going to call this quadrilateral. Okay. Open up the structure's body here. Inside of here, we're going to create our properties public decimal width get set. public decimal height set like that. All right. And then let's create our two methods here. And we can we can say public decimal calculate perimeter Here we can say width times two and height times two. Okay. Then we can say public decimal calculate area width times height. All right, there we go. And before we continue, I also want to point out um, that yes, I am well aware the radius calculation in the previous uh, in the previous video was wrong, but that's fine. You get you get, you guys got the concept anyway. Okay, so now you can see we have our two properties and our two methods, width, height, calculate area, and calculate perimeter. Why exactly then is a structure better suited for something like this than a class? Well, as I, as I stated, structures are better suited for small amounts of data throughout your application. Whereas classes, you might want to have larger amounts of data that can actually stay around. Um, because the thing about structures is that once the instance of, of the structure is used, it's not retained. It, once it's deallocated from memory, it's gone, right? Whereas classes jet are, are meant to stay around a lot longer throughout the life cycle of your application because you're going to need them um, for, for more vital things. Um, and the other thing about uh, structures versus classes is that when you create an instance of a class and you assign that instance, um, you know, you assign an instance to a different instance of a class. Uh, for example, let's just go above our structure here. So in the previous, in the previous videos, we had a rectangular, we had a rectangle example, right? So if we had a rectangle, equals a new rectangle and we had a rectangle r2 equals r something like that we where we're assigning the instance of rectangle called r to the 
rectangle R2, we're not making a copy of that instance. We're just making a copy of the reference to that class instance. So we're making a copy of that uh, memory address. Whereas if we were to whereas if we were to do the same thing with structures, uh, let's see. If we were to do the same thing with structures, the entire thing gets copied, right? So all the data gets copied to that new instance, and it's entirely independent of the previous instance, whereas in the, in the example we just looked at, where we assigned the, the uh, reference to one instance to another instance, uh, they are not independent of one another. So if you change anything from anything in the uh, reference, right, to uh, to that instance of a class, for example, the width of the height property, that change will also be reflected in every inst in every other instance of that object throughout your program. Which, which is why. Uh, when you're copy, when you're doing something like that with classes, it's much more efficient with structures, or much more efficient with classes than it would be with structures. And why structures should only have small bits of data, because if you have large amounts of data in a structure, because of the fact that all the data gets copied when you assign an instance of a structure to another instance of a structure, everything starts to slow down. It'll be a lot more resource intensive that way. Right, so that pretty much does it for this video on structures. Thank you all so very much for watching and we will see you in the next one.